Hello everyone, so today we're going to take a look at um, an important ability, a very complicated ability, very complicated mechanics within this game, and that is revive, and what characters have revives, how do they revive, how um, is it possible to stop them from reviving, and the most important question that a lot of people seem to be struggling with, how does Darth Treya and her, and her um, special debuff isolate, interact, with this um, revive mechanics. So first of all, I'm going to point out a character does not revive is B1. When the B1 kit was first released, people were clamoring about how um, Imperial troopers are going to be a great counter against them. They were saying um, whenever you kill him, you know, by um, every time every time you hit him, you kill him, he's going to get revived. Uh, his droid battalion stack is going to go down. And it's going to ramp up your Imperial Troopers or ramp up your Assange Ventress, whatever. And unfortunately, that is not the case. The B1 is not killed over and over again. It is merely losing droid battalions. It only dies after all droid battalion has been depleted. But there is still some revive interactions with B1. And for instance, B1 cannot be revived. And the same goes to Imperial Probe Droid after the Imperial Probe Droid blows up with its um, second special, it's not going to be able to be revived. So let's get that out of the way first. And the uh, easiest character to think about in terms of revive is the Zombie, her self-revive mechanic, because Zombie has two different revive mechanics. We're just going to look at the first one right now. And if you have a Zombie that is more than gear 10, and you have unlocked the Undying Sacrifice unique ability, the zombie is going to revive and full stop. There's no stopping that. Isolate. You can isolate zombie all the time. All the time. It's not going to do anything. Of course, you can stop it from taunting, but that's it. We have Death Mark from um, Darth Revan or uh, Death Trooper. It's not going to work. You can annihilate her. Uh, you can execute her. You can um, kill her in Django's turn with a Zeta. It's not going to matter. She's going to revive. And the same goes to. Um, when she's under gear 10 as well. But the thing is, she's not going to be revived after she gets set up minus 100 speed. So um, the two stacks of uh, negative endless horde. So um, nothing's going to stop her, but if she is in uh, negative 100 speed with that um, special debuff, she's not going to revive. And it's simple as that. And none of them have any interactions with start stray and isolate nor was any of the abilities that can prevent normal revives. So that's out of the way. And the other one, the other type of revives we have is um, self-revives. And so the new, new Gunray most recently got a rework that allows him to revive once. Scarif Rebel Pathfinder, someone from a long time ago, can revive as long as he has buffs. Uh, Darth Sion gets uh, able to self-revive as when he has hatred, how by hatred. And Django and Boba all start the match with Bounty Hunter's Resolve, which allows them to um, revive themselves. They also get Bounty Hunter's Resolve after uh, they kill an enemy. So, um, how does Ice. Well, first of all, let's start with the easy one. All of them, all of their revives can be prevented by these five characters down here. Like I said, if Django Fat is a Zeta and any one of those characters kill within Django's turn, they're not going to revive. If Boba executes, no revives. If they got Death Mark from um, either uh, Death Trooper or Darth Revan, they're not going to revive. If Death Trooper kills them with the second special, they're not going to be revived. If, if Darth Nihilus annihilates them, they're not going to be able to revive. So that's easy. But how does that interact with Darth Treyas Isolate? Well, a major point of confusion with the players is that during the Treya meta, we remember, we all remember seeing this, right? We have Darth Sion, he gets Hatred, and you put um, Isolate on him, or you put the uh, Isolate on him before he gets held by Hatred, it doesn't really matter, and you kill him, and he stays dead. So a lot of people just err errorously, um, erroneously think that Isolate prevents revise, which it's not exactly true with the player character we got. If we see in the raids, 
the uh, Ray Treya puts Isolate on someone and kills them, that character's dead. You can't be revived. But for um, player, uh, Treya is a bit more complicated. So if you want to read the kit, specifically Isolate um, stops any... You can benefit from your team, and you also, um, most importantly, you cannot benefit from do anything beneficial to yourself when it's not your turn. Basically, you're just, like the name suggests, isolated from the rest of the game. So, um, if you already put isolated on, um, say, tr say, what's his name? Wow. From, uh, on Scion again, because that's the character we're most familiar with, presumably from this list of self-reviving characters. And you kill him, if it's not his turn, he's not going to be able to be revived because Isolate prevents him from um, being healed or being revived or getting buffed out of turn, right? But however, if it is his turn, for instance, if he dies by a damage over time, and it will be Scion's turn because Scion starts his turn, takes the damage from the dots, dies. That is his turn and he's going to be able to be revived. So this, there's a distinction for these self-reviving characters. If you kill them when well, they have isolate, um, they're not going to be able to be revived. But if uh, damage over time, for instance, from Nihilus is what kills them, or for instance, Plague, and they die on their own turn, yes, they will be able to self-revive. And the second, the, the uh, next role we have is um, out of turn revives. So all of these, um, if on Hera, put say a backup plan on another character, or uh, Vendor Chewbacca with his Zeta and is prepared, another uh, light size counter dies, or uh, Night Sister Zombies limited twice revives from her Undying Sacrifice special, uh, unique ability. So these three abilities all basically are all out of turn revives because you're not necessarily taking a turn in order. You're not using an actively using an ability to revive another character, so this is very easy. If um, isolate is put on another character and Hera puts back a plan on them, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're not going to be able to be revived. And the same goes as Vander Chewbacca and the uh, Undying Sacrifice. Isolate is going to prevent that revive, and so will all of these characters here. It's very simple. And finally, this is what's the most interesting part, um, and that is ability revives. Ability revives meaning you need to take a turn and use an ability to revive them. So Captain Hun has a revive. Jin has a revive for um for this rebel character specifically on crits. Vice is smart. I don't really play her, but I think she uh, can revive any and all characters. Doc uh, revives Night Sister really well, but also can revive other characters. Jolie revives. Um, Jedi, Ewok, it says Chief on the um, image link, but uh, Ewok Elder revives Ewoks really nicely, but can also revive other characters. Java Engineer only revives droids, Krennic only revives Death Trooper, and Mother Talzin, her leadership ability, as well as her uh, Spirit Blade of Assault, her second special, are all going to um, revive Night Sister allies. And I think I, I originally put um, her uh, leadership ability under the um, the uh, out of turn revise, but I've been thinking even though it, it might not necessarily be her doing the revise, but you still need to take a turn with your night sister, so you're still doing going to take a turn and use your basic. So that changes from um, it's different from these characters, and this is where it gets complicated. So we're just going to take Scion as an example again, and we're just going to remove the dots, so um, he has Hell by Hatred, he has Isolate, and you kill him outside of his turn, he's dead. Hatred is not going to revive him, because again, it's out of his turn. But the thing is, when a character dies, when a character is defeated, they no longer retain any debuffs. Debuffs are automatically cleansed from them. One notable exception being Armor Shred, but Armor Shred technically, technically is not a debuff. It is simply a status effect. You can see that from uh, Sabine's kit. But anyway, after Scion dies, even though he is not going to be revived by his own Hell by Hatred ability, the Isolate is no longer going to stick to him. 
So now what it means, it means that he can, he now can be revived out of turn. So um, for instance, I use, I think, um, Vices Mar now can revive Scion from out of turn. One of the things that people were wondering is that if you kill, um, for instance, Grandmaster Yoda with, oh, did I just completely delete? Yep. I'm just going to put it back to where Treya is. If you're fighting against the Jedi Knight Revan team and you put Isolate, for instance, on Grandmaster Yoda and you kill him, you don't, uh, you kill him without using any of those abilities. You just kill him outright. People are wondering, like, why the heck can Jolie still revive him? And the uh, answer is just that. After Yoda dies, there's, it's no, he is no longer isolated. Because um, all Divas served a spell from them, and Jolie can now just revive them. Of course, one simple solution to that is when you just isolate Jolie. If you isolate Jolie, he's not going to be able to revive any other characters or benefit them in any other way during his turn. He's not going to um, heal them, he's not going to give them protection up, not going to call people to assist, and that's it. also not going to be able to revive them. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, just in short, um, well, I don't know if there's an in short way to do it because, like I said, it's super complicated, and I don't blame anyone who doesn't know exactly how the mechanic works. But Knights is a zombie. There's not no way to prevent that revive. Um, self reviving characters, if you isolate them and they die outside of the turn, they can't be revived. If they die on their own turn, from if they die on their own turn from a damage over time or plague or anything like that, they can be revived. They, they will revive themselves. Uh, these out of turn revive abilities will not be able to revive a character that has isolate. And these um, turn taking revive abilities, so in turn ability, will be able to revive someone who died with isolate. But they will not be able to revive anyone if they have isolated themselves. And all of these revive abilities, other than Zombie, will not be able to trump um, any of these five characters' special uh, unique stuff that prevents revives. Only Zombie can revive um, even if they're uh, even if she is defeated by these five dudes with all of their special specific stuff. And if someone was defeated by any of those abilities, none of these, so these guys will not be able to self-revive and these guys won't be able to um, revive that defeated characters. So I hope this is useful and it wasn't super complicated. I hope what I said makes sense. And if it does, well, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one.